Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruby Tufty. If you're new, it's great to meet you. If you're old, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you a little story time about how this company tried to scam me and I feel like they would scam you too if they had the opportunity. So last week, I'm looking for a job. If you didn't know, I got fired from my freaking job and I need to find a new one. So I would walk by this nutrition bar on my way to the coffee shop to study and I like popped in because I'd never seen this nutrition bar before and I was like, okay, like this is cute. Apparently it was new. They gave me a little coupon and it's called like Live True Nutrition. And I was like, okay, went on with my life, and now I'm looking for a job. So I decided to call them. I'm like, hey, um, hi, I was wondering if you guys were hiring. So she told me they were hiring, and I was like, this is perfect. She told me about two positions. One would be a wellness coach, and I was like, whoa, wellness coach? Like, I'm not trained or certified to be a wellness coach. And she was like, no, 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 like, it's okay. I'll teach you everything you need to know. And then there was a second position as a protein shake blender, a shaker. So I was like, okay, awesome. She asked for my email. I gave it to her and she told me she was going to email me some information about both the positions and then I could call her back with questions and we could go from there. So this was on a Friday. They're closed Saturday and Sunday. So on the following Monday, I decided that I was going to drop my application off. And it was really funny because I was telling my trainer about this because I saw him right before and I was like, I have this like, I'm dropping my interview off my I'm dropping my resume off at this nutrition bar and I'm really excited and he was like oh I remember back when I was like 22 I got a same somebody told me about the same position a wellness coach position and it turned out to be Herbalife and I was like oh like haha that's so weird and I was in the middle of working out so you know like I'm half listening to him half not really like listening to him focusing on the workout so I'm on my way to drop my resume off. I just print it from the little printer store and I stop in and I say, hi, I like, do you happen to be Olivia? Because that's what she said. Her name was on the phone. She said, yes. And I said, my name's Ruby. We talked and I wanted to bring you my resume because I haven't gotten your email and maybe me giving you my email over the phone, you wrote it down wrong and I didn't get it. She's like, oh, this is perfect. Tell me a little about yourself. So we started chatting and I'm like, well, like I'm really into fit fitness and health, so I was like, oh, this wellness coach position would be perfect because I love to be fit and help people be fit and just like optimal health. And um, I told her I lost 120 pounds, and she's like, whoa, 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 this is serious. So she really started telling, <laughs> she really started telling me about the job position. And now the wellness coach, more like wellness boach, like boach no thank you <laughs> so what she wants so you're selling protein shakes and you get paid per shake sold so if it's an $11 protein shake you are getting $2.50 minus that so $8.50 $8.50 per wellness or per protein shake and I'm pretty sure she said there was another fee she was going to take out of that as well so let's just say you get $7 per protein shake sold and it's all commission, you don't get an hourly. Yeah, so she wants me to work and sell protein shakes without getting paid money, and I'm only getting paid per protein shake sold. And it's not even like she supplies the protein. She wanted me to buy a huge pack of all these different types of proteins, all these different flavors, and then all these supplements and teas and like Adams and Aloe shots. So she wants me to like say, spend $500 up front and then when I work I just sell my protein I have my little basket I bring my basket of protein shake powder out and then I start selling that to people and then the other position shaker she doesn't even pay you you just get a protein shake and a tea at the end of your shift and she calls it an intern it's an internship and I'm pretty sure it's very, very illegal. I wanted to ask her. I wanted to be like, do, do you know it's illegal to have somebody work? I actually think I did say that. I was, yeah, do you know it's illegal to have someone work without paying them? And that's when she told me it was like an internship and people do it all the time and it's for students. And I was like, okay, tough chits. So anyway, I am pretty interested. I mean, not pretty interested. I'm interested in our conversation because her protein shakes are Herbalife, and if I don't know much about Herbalife, but I know Herbalife ain't it. If you're not gonna do anything in the world, don't do Herbalife. And personally, 
I drink protein shakes from a, a company called Isogenics in Herbalife and Isogenics. I don't know if they're like rivals, but I know they're in the same market. And I just know Isogenics is superior to anything I've ever put in my body, let alone her little I want you to work for me without paying me or paying you shake. So I'm just like, okay, nothing's ever gonna front on the shakes I already drink. So I knew I wasn't gonna take this job, but I was interested because both the companies are MLM companies. However, Herbalife is just a trash, terrible company. So anyway, we end up continuing to talk and she's like, do you want to try a shake? And I'm like, maybe I should just because like in a far away land, I should know what Herbalife is like and I wanted to experience it. And so she, we had like a 30 minute conversation and she asked me if I wanted to try these shakes two times. And in my head, try try she meant like try have and after having like a 30 minute long conversation during an interview in any place i've worked like i used to work at a smoothie place and anytime somebody interviewed them we just gave them a smoothie like that was just our thing or when i interviewed for a coffee shop i got a cup of coffee so i'm just like assuming she meant i could try these shakes so i was like sure i'll try the oat monkey and all her names for the shakes were like 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 Chunky Monkey or Peanut Butter Dream or like Oreo Blizzard or like really unhealthy sounding shake names and then she also had tea bombs called like Jolly Rancher so I don't know why you're trying to call something healthy a Jolly Rancher because in my head that's just gonna make you want candy or Oreos more so anyway she makes this shake and she puts like a drizzle of caramel around the rim and I'm like well is it healthy caramel is it sugar free caramel i'm so confused why would you ever want to put caramel on a protein shake that just makes no sense to me and she's like yeah it's sugar free like i can make it for you again if you want it's more for decoration and i'm like no no this is fine like if you already made it don't remake it i also think i'm getting it for free so i wasn't gonna say anything and then she's like do you want to try a tea too and i was like well like why not if this is the whole razzle dazzle you're always talking shake and t-bomb like this is the duo that you, she said most people buy so i was trying out the duo and she makes them she seals them i try them both and then she rings me up and she's like yeah normally this would be eleven dollars but if you want to post to social media you'll get a dollar off and like me in my head i knew i had no money like i knew i had no money and i'm like okay sure and I like pull out my debit card and I hand it to her and she swipes it and she turns it and I click tip one dollar and then I sign and then it processes and it declines and I'm like well why it declined weird let's try again and the same thing happens and then I tried with a credit card that is not even turned on it's like it's turned off and I just like have it in my wallet because I have it and she goes okay try it without doing a tip and so I tried it, declines, obviously the credit card's not even turned on, it's not even going to swipe, nothing's going to happen. So she's like, well you can Venmo me. And literally Venmo was just down, down for maintenance, I couldn't use it, she couldn't use it, it told me I had zero dollars in my Venmo balance, which made me just look even extra awkward and poor. And so I ended up just leaving with both shakes and the shake was gross. I didn't even, I couldn't even finish the shake. I drank it. Usually when I drink a protein shake, I feel rich and magical and like full of nutrition and like I could conquer the world and you know, you just hit a long workout. You're depleted. You feel empty. You drink a protein shake and suddenly you're full and you're whole and you're new again and you're like, you know what? I'm brand new. I'm Gavinci. You know what I'm saying? No. This protein made shake made me feel like trash. I felt like a trailer. I felt like the freaking gross bottomness on the dumpster where people at TJ Maxx take out their trash. That kind of dumpster. That protein shake did not make me feel good at all. But I still paid her for it because I'm a good person. So later in the day, I Venmoed her. Which was like such a waste of money. My roommate was like, what? You still Venmo her? And I was like, good karma. I need that good karma. So anyway, yes, they wanted me to work for them for no money and to buy $500 worth. Have you ever applied for a job and they said, yes, to start, we're going to need $500. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you go to a job to get money, not to give money. And like, what if you never sold all your protein? Like you just wasted all your money. Then you're like forced to work there until you sell your protein. You're like trapped in. And then she also wanted me to buy like a welcome kit for $103 and it was just information about the company. It didn't even tell, it didn't even give you a sample of anything. It was literally just papers. So that's seriously how Herbalife tried to scam me. They're trying to scam other people. They're trying to scam college kids for interning for them to work there and be a shake maker and not even get paid. Just get a protein shake and a tea that doesn't even do anything for you, that's filled with stevia. I read the ingredients on the protein powder and there's so many, there's gums in there, which are fillers. There's stevia, which is just an unnecessary, unneeded sweetener. There's all this um, soy lithium and like just, the, there was nine grams of protein and nine grams of sugar. For starters, I'm pretty sure a cup of kidney beans has more grams of protein than their freaking little Herbalife protein shakes, let alone you want to pair it with nine grams of sugar. That's embarrassing and that's awkward. I should call the FCC or something and report this girl Olivia. I was going to give her a bad Google, Google review and be like, not the best protein shake will be topped with a caramel drizzle or something <laughs> like called live true nutrition but is actually live blue caramel it's actually herbalife <laughs> it's actually herbalife yeah oh my gosh so yeah that was my terrible experience i hope it never happens to you if anywhere called live true nutrition tries to contact you don't answer if anyone Selling Herbalife tries to contact you, don't answer. And be safe, kids, because it's a tough world out there. <laughs> okay, my name is Ruby. Thank you so much for watching. You can go ahead, like, subscribe, turn my notifications on, and I will see you in the next video.